about eating? No, I'm not feeling so good. I don't know what I want to eat. Maybe something light. Yeah. It's a little warm in here though. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'm having trouble breathing. So my chest is getting tight. Are you having indigestion? Like, what does it feel like? It's tight, like something sitting on my chest. My arms starting to tingle. That doesn't feel good at all. Somebody help! What's going on? He, he's having some chest pain and feeling lightheaded. And you can't follow me. Yes, I think he's having a heart attack. You have any medical problem? No. Hypertension, that's it. You allergic to the medicine? Take any medicines every day? Blood pressure medicine. Oh, yeah. Tell me what the pain feels like. It's something like sitting on my chest. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is it? Is it radiating anywhere? Down my left arm. What were you doing when I started? Just sitting here. Blood pressure is okay. Take your medicines this morning. Yes. For chest pain, uh, we're going to give aspirin, oxygen if it's needed, and then if the blood pressure is okay, we will give nitroglycerin, nitroglycerin to help lower uh, the blood pressure and help with the chest pain. This is uh, his vital signs right now. So currently his, his blood pressure is slightly elevated, <laughs> uh, but not bad. Uh, heart rate's a little bit fast. And uh, his oxygen level, over 96 is what we're looking for, so 97 is a good oxygen level. Since we're in a public place, we're gonna go ahead and get you in the ambulance. So we can do a 12 week EKG, look at your heart a little bit closer, and then decide what we're going for, okay? So I'm going to have to put some uh, stickers on your chest and then down the left side, okay? And this is just looking at the electrical activity of his heart. So this will determine if he's having a STEMI, which is an ST element elevated myocardial infarction. So just a, an incident uh, where his heart is not moving blood the way it's supposed to. Chris, it looks like you're having a cardiac event. So once we determine that he's having a, a cardiac event, we want to get moving uh, because time is muscle, as they say. So we're going to head to the hospital. Our closest uh, cardiac cath lab is Carrollton Regional. With our monitor, we have the capability to transmit the EKG to the hospital. So we're going to send the hospital the EKG. That way they can have it before we get there. And then the, the cardiologist will have a chance to look at it too. So we transmit that here. And I also want to give the hospital a heads up, so I'm going to call them and let them know that we have a code stamp. This is Carrollton. Hey, this is Carrollton Medic 116. We've got a 59-year-old male complaining of chest pain. 12 week uh, shows inferior MI, so we have a code STEMI. I'm going to start an IV. We've given aspirin and nitro, and we'll be there in about five minutes. Hey, they're activating STEMI. Okay, see you five. Hey doc, this is Chris. Uh, he was having 8 to 10, uh, crushing chest pain, radiating to the left arm while he was at a restaurant having breakfast this morning. Okay. Uh, vitals have been pretty good. He's uh, tachycardic, uh, slight hypertension, 149 over 90. Okay. Um, inferior STEMI, inferior uh, We've got an IV, we've given aspirin and nitro. And um, pain came down two points with the nitro. All right, thank you very much. Hello, sir. I'm Dr. Pillow. We're going to be taking care of you today. What time did this pain start? 
Oh, I'm not sure, 20 minutes ago? 20 minutes, minutes ago. Okay. Are you having any other symptoms? Back pain, stomach pain, vomiting? Uh, a little nauseous, okay. pain down my left arm. Have you ever had any heart trouble before or had a heart attack before? No. Just no? Are you high blood pressure. Okay. Any diabetes? No. You don't take any blood thinners? No. Other than the aspirin they gave you, do you take any other medications? Uh, Just, uh, blood pressure medicine blood pressure and medicine. statin. Okay. You smoke cigarettes? No. no. All right. I quit in 18. With your EKG looking right. like it yeah, is, and after your evaluation, we're probably going to be planning to take you to the cath lab, which is a place where the cardiologist goes in and opens up an artery in your heart because it looks like you may be having a heart attack. Okay. Have you had any episodes of chest pain before this? No, sir. No? Right. No belly pain or back pain? No. No? You allergic to medication? Not that I'm aware of. And have you had any surgeries recently? Uh, not in the last four years. Alright, take a deep breath. I'm one of the nurses. I'm going to get you hooked up to our heart monitor here, okay? How's your pain right now? It's about a seven. About a seven, okay. We could also give you four morphine. Okay. All right, Chris, good luck. You're in good hands, okay? Thanks, buddy. Thank you, well done. Hi, Chris, my name is Susan. I'm one of the ER nurses down here. Um, the next steps is we've activated the cath lab to take you, and they're gonna look at your heart to see if there's a vessel that we can, is occluded that we can open up. I gotta ask you a couple questions, and then my cath lab team will come in and kind of ask you a few more questions to go with this. Okay. Do you have any allergies? No. Um, how tall are you? 510. When's the last time you ate? Uh, last night. Hi, my name's Chris. I'm from the Cath Lab. Hi, oh, Chris. I'm Chris. Wow, oh, nice to meet you. Um, so, Chris uh, started having chest pain when he was uh, having breakfast this morning. Um, they activated his semi out in the field. His first EKG is right here. He had aspirin and nitro times one. He has a IV in the left AC. Um, I've already started your semi form and started asking some of the pre uh, sedation assessment already. Okay. Um, all right. So I see that um, no sedation issues, no substance issues. That my girl. Okay. Um, I'm just going to uh, do a quick assessment here just to make sure um, I cover any safety issues that I can prevent any complications. I'm going to hold down your mask. I need you to open up your mouth as wide as you can. Stick out your tongue so I can see your tonsils. Okay. We'll go ahead and get you off to the cat lab here. Uh, there's less complications going through the wrist. It's the artery in your wrist. Um, that artery has a direct shot to your heart through your aorta. Um, if for some reason you have uh, anomalies in your in your radial artery, your brachial artery, um, then the doctor will be going through the femoral site, and that's an artery there. And that one's a straight shot up through the aorta into your heart also. Um, that one has a little bit more complications because you can bleed more, have retro, retroperitoneal bleeding, or you have to lay flat for four hours. Where with the wrist, you don't have to lay flat. You just have to make sure that you don't move that that hand for about 24 hours. Yeah. And then, of course, you can manage the bleeding much easier with the wrist location. And the cardiologist will explain a little bit more. So Dr. Shaw, thanks for coming down. This is a 58-year-old gentleman who had chest pain 20 minutes prior to arrival. Uh, they brought in the EKG to show an inferior wall stemming. Um, he, he didn't have any other major medical problems except for hypertension, and his exam is otherwise normal. Still having pain in 7 out of 10 when he got here. They given him aspirin and nitro. The nitro brought him from a 10 to a 7. Um, he's otherwise doesn't have any real risk factors and uh, I felt like with the STEMI he needs to go to the cath lab. So hey it. sir, how are you? My yeah. name is Dr. Shaw, I'm a cardiologist. It looks like you're having a heart attack with a 100% blockage in one of your heart arteries. So we have to go ahead and try to open that up, okay? okay. How we do that is by doing something called a cardiac catheterization. Uh, what we'll do is take you to the cath lab, which is an operating room with an x-ray machine. We'll make you sleepy. We'll put a big uh, catheter in your right wrist here in the artery. We'll go up with a little tube and take some pictures of your heart arteries. Okay. Uh, if there's a blockage there, we can fix it right there with what's called a stent. Okay. okay. Um, so time is muscle, so we're going to get moving quickly. All right. All right. Any questions? When we call code STEMI and it comes to our craft team, 
the cat team comes into this room and sets everything up first. So the nurses already pulled what they need for the radial cocktail for Dr. Shaw, on top of the meds that they're typically gonna give because they get moderate sedation. So the patient still is somewhat awake, but they are given medicine to make them comfortable for the whole procedure. If we need to, as the procedure goes on, we can give them more medicine to make them comfortable through it.